Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notifications are turned on so you know every single time I post. If you are interested in a personal, then be sure to click the about section where you have all the information as to what type of reading that you would like to choose. Okay, let's see what's going on. What is it that we need to know? What's the current message for Virgo? Okay, so we do have massive regrets. So somebody's not regretting of anything that may have happened in the past, present, or what will happen in the near future. I feel like somebody's going to do something unapologetically or live their best life. I do see here that there is someone that has a bad reputation. It could be a feminine or somebody with feminine energy. I do feel like this person is trying to get all up in your business or get a closer look to what's going on in your life because it looks like somebody here is not phased by this person. Okay. For whatever reason. And I don't know why it is that somebody's always pointing the finger at you or you being the reason why, but that's what I'm picking up here. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more. Holy Spirit divine. What's the message? Somebody here claims to not um, regret anything that they've gone through with you or you with them. And it's driving this outsider crazy or this could be whoever you are or whoever that person is. I feel like somebody is not trying to allow any cycles to continue that allows them to repeat the same things over and over to create a bad decision or reputation for themselves. Okay, I feel like somebody wants to end the madness to all this chaos to be with their divine femme. Okay, they want to experience their more gentle and nurturing side or energy, and they just need somebody that's going to connect with that. Okay, there's somebody that could be entering a fruitful season. That's what I'm picking up here. Let's see. Tell me more. What's the message? Message for Virgo. Oh, wow. So somebody is chasing after all the things that give them that type of excitement, good time, this high. But I feel like this is what's allowing somebody's world to clash. Because somebody's not making good choices. So it's trapping them in this karmic cycle. Okay. Somebody is clinging to what's making them trapped. Instead of opening their heart up to accept or be receptive to the energy that they should be in. Which is divine energy. I feel like somebody's pretending to feel like any sorts of emotions. But maybe they're just being, uh, they're too afraid to do this. I feel like you will be calling somebody on their BS or their, um, their bluff. Or this is somebody doing this for you. Okay, if you're a false feminine. But I don't think that's the case. Let's be Virgos. Let's see here. Okay, so we have a cracked cup. Somebody's dissatisfied with the person that they're dealing with or certain events that are playing a part in this. Somebody here needs to pay attention to their health so they don't end up doing something that could um, exacerbate something here. Look, we have a major challenge to overcome. It may have something to do with um, money, the expense of certain things that lead them to failures with money, opportunity, um, certain things that you're investing in. There is somebody here that's trying to challenge you to go through some hard times or loss of wealth. Okay. Affairs of family, great passion. So there's something that's going to happen between 
your your family or whatever this is okay affairs with your family there's some sort of unsuccessful plan in regards to this affair with your family somebody is leaving your life somebody is going to be claiming victory or see something as victorious because of who somebody is okay somebody try to tempt you to do something to claim victory that may have you caught up with the law there's some type of saboteur or you are sabotaging something through behavior or desires to the detriment of of other people or whatever this is somebody's sabotaging something for themselves or somebody is doing it for you wow Okay, so we have space in reverse. Somebody here could feel stifled. Somebody feels like there's not enough room for growth. Yeah, this is sabotage. Somebody doesn't feel like there's enough room for growth. Okay, but I feel like something is going to solve itself. Or there's going to be energies of illumination that will bring about some, some different energies or you being sweeter or more nurturing to yourself or somebody that might need it. I feel like somebody's gonna be asking who, what, where, when, and why is this happening right now? That's because you were in a, a imbalanced energy for you to obtain some type of nurturing back to yourself. Okay, you need to be careful of what you say, think, or feel because it will happen. The power of the tongue is a real thing, okay? Okay, there's something from your recent past or somebody that may be experiencing spiritual warfare that may happen, okay? Somebody has some sort of dark entity attachment. Look, we have ghost and magic. Somebody placed this energy upon you, okay? Or somebody has like um, some sort of surveillance through a dark entity, okay? I feel like this is somebody that you trusted that may have corrupted or dis disrupted your happiness with a dark entity attachment here. Okay. I'm going to tap into a little bit more of oracles and then head into the readings. Okay, so overall I do see that you're healing from this engagement or being with someone or almost getting married you're healing from that connection or you felt like you almost were there to have your happy ending girl with a snake and heartbroken is significant let's see one more card somebody here may be leaving someone or a group of people behind that may be narcissistic so that you don't allow this energy to rub off on you Somebody is in a negative mindset or somebody is unable to manifest positive things in their life or somebody is ungrateful for what they have and always wanting more but cannot be grateful for the things that they've already been given. Okay, we have lightning, sudden change. There's something that's being hindered. Somebody is not coming forward to tell you something um, when it comes to the way that they express themselves to tell you how they feel for you or you for them somebody is fleeting or triggered okay this could be a karmic relationship or a connection yeah whoever this karmic is they can't come towards you to tell you how they feel okay they're holding back or maybe they're getting you to hold back on telling them how you feel take it how it resonates damn Okay, first card uh, coming up is uh, the world card. Okay, something is being completed or a cycle is no longer standing here. I feel like somebody's worried about their mother or their motherhood or the ability to, to have children. Somebody here is worried that their biological clock is ticking or they won't be able to have any more children 
somebody could be going through um, testing or maybe something is showing up on an x-ray or an ultrasound or something like that that prevents you from having children uh, the normal way or whatever this is because we have worries somebody's worried here somebody's worried about their um, their biological clock coming um, closer than what it was supposed to. So somebody needs to make lifestyle changes or there is a change that's headed in your direction. I feel like this could be two or more things here. Wow. Somebody is going to be separating from a person that they were sleeping with to be with the Ten of Cups. Or somebody could be slowing down on sleeping with someone to get to know them better so that they can connect on every level. Okay, the, the tower is in the um, reverse energy. Somebody could be um, withholding information about what they've done. Somebody cheated, lied, betrayed, um, mismanaged a person's love or whatever this is here. Yeah, somebody's married. Somebody regret to tell you that they're married. Somebody seems to be happily married, but... They regret to tell you this. They thought it would interfere with the connection and they didn't want that. Babes. That's crazy to me. Somebody feels like y'all have unfinished business. Or maybe there could be some sort of domestic issues that somebody wants to come around to fix or whatever this is here. Or maybe y'all were married and there, there was a person that overlapped a relationship with a younger individual. Somebody that's very competitive. Could be wealthy. This is somebody that likes to gossip in their spare time though. While they get things done. Or stretch the truth. Or something like that. Or this is somebody that you can't confide in because they have such a big mouth. I know them ones. My family's like that. <laughs> like, you can't tell my family nothing. They'll be overly happy to share something with someone else. That's just how they are. Let's see here. masculine so he's in reverse there is a false masculine here that hasn't already unlocked some type of tantric journey okay he's with someone just to be with them or somebody likes what a person does okay it makes their heart rate go up <laughs> this is sexual energy babes like that's crazy <laughs> That is insane. There is a, a person that's supposed to be a divine masculine that's a false masculine dealing with a karmic, okay? I feel like you're going into some type of change here that you don't realize. There's some type of changes that are going to be happening subconsciously. are better off without someone or working together with someone because this person is not one that will help you unlock some type of hidden knowledge somebody just wants to steal knowledge from you somebody doesn't believe what you believe in somebody doesn't believe in romantic love or partnership okay and I feel like this is somebody's perception you can't change this whoever this person is wants authority over you they want to access your, your Akashic records, okay? So they can research some type of soul time. The soul time is the frequency of soul time that asks us to allow the possibility of new reality to emerge. I'm telling you, you you're going through some type of like um, physical or spiritual change. You are needing to remember something or maybe something is, is jogging your memory. You're remembering something that was not able to compel emergence. It broke apart. It was somebody's train of thought or how they show emotion, okay? 
I feel like you you are empowering your your mind to tap into your higher self. There's a miracle that you need to unlock or believe in yourself so that you can have universal love. Let's see here. We have the numbers 12, 22, and 23. There's some sort of change that's happening between you and a false uh, masculine that allows you to go in different directions. Somebody cannot come with you where this change is happening. Whoever this masculine is, they think they're smarter than others due to their background or the type of work or a college or university degree that they got. But you are the true boss, babe, okay? There's something pertaining to your work, your education, or just your dynamic that's going to allow you allow you to rise to the top of your field whether you're masculine or feminine okay somebody here is playing games and it's not monopoly internet trolls are jealous of what you have and how you appear and somebody here is trying to get others to follow the crowd without thinking about the consequences or there are, there are a lot of people that are following the crowd. Somebody's easily triggered by others due to their past issues. spirits that make or cause a lot of noise to happen and they think it's going to stop some shit that ain't going to stop nothing we have trust in reverse reaching out somebody doesn't trust themselves or you to reach out to them this is somebody that you may not have um, enjoyed sexual encounters or intimacy with I feel like this is somebody that doesn't want to spend any more time apart from you but somebody's not necessarily ready, but they feel like you're worth the wait or something like that. The person that you don't trust or they don't trust you, I feel like this person's gonna reach out because they consider you to be worth the wait whether or not they're ready. Let's see here. Okay, so somebody here is trying to develop some type of like material, um, finances or something like that. Somebody is not the rich woman. Okay, there is a good lady that may not be highly honored. She's not honored because there's a non-military person that she might have done business with that she was able to get away to have success but it ended in bloom, bloomy thoughts, or gloomy thoughts. Yeah, somebody took on some type of like business aspect with a non-military man or um, was closely involved with this man. And it looks like there's a false feminine. She's a, she's a scam artist or she um, does love scams to get what she wants. Let's see here, Holy Spirit Divine. We have conflict. Somebody's confused on how to move forward because of previous arguments or disagreements. This is somebody that is going through the dark night of the soul, maybe trying to face their fears or old wounds when it comes to commitment, loyalty, or agreement. Somebody does, however, want to spend time with you, open to see how far things will go or what they can commit to. Somebody here may be delayed whatever it is that they're trying to manifest because somebody here needs to just take it easy 
We're not allowed things to trigger them. Okay. All right. So somebody here could be going back to a past person that they're separated from. Somebody may not want anybody new. But this person that is from your past or very recent, this is somebody that has a lot of bad influences and listens to the people that are influencing them in a wrong way. This calls for you not to reconcile with this person. This person is too cold and toxic and brings negative energy and will bring your whole foundation down if you allow them to. So... You could be messing up your own synchronicity with the universe for something new to take place because you can't get past the past. That's crazy. Okay, so we have ascension. So there's some sort of spiritual path or awakening that's happening after you missed out on paying attention to the signs or synchronicities of the universe. We have freedom. Somebody here is trying to free themselves or needs the opportunity to do so. I'm also getting uh, that somebody could be, I don't know why I'm hearing the word forcing. Somebody is being forced to speak on some sort of truth that they hit about a hookup or a one night stand or somebody that they had you in competition with. This could be a new person. They could be born in uh, September, October, November times. This is like fall energy. Or this is when they met this person or whatever this is. So we have projection. Somebody here is trying to project some sort of legal issue on you. Or somebody's projecting something about um, documents, paperwork, or something to be filed. Somebody wants to file something on you or bring it to your home. This is someone that you're no longer dating or haven't dated or you don't know. Take it as it resonates. could be looking for your address to make sure that whenever they send you some sort of um, legal document to have you served, that they know where to serve you. We have self-care and fate. So somebody here should be in high spirits to make sure that they're taking care of their self and, and giving themselves the self-worth that they need. We have denial and self-worth. So somebody's not facing their truth, could be irrational, or does something because they feel like there's reasoning to do so, okay? Okay, so somebody doesn't want to be in the space of guilt, because of something that they sabotage. Somebody wants to come to a peaceful closure, but there's something that a person is not changing, and it's it's some type of expression of the truth. Somebody really wants to reconcile with you, and I feel like they're mentally conflicted about coming back towards you or you towards them, okay? Somebody could be dealing with a snake or is the actual snake here. Somebody needs to shed layers of their themselves in order to come to the real estate of their, their life here. Wow. Message. Virgo. 
Okay, so we have faking a death hiding from you. Consenting adult, armor, unexplained freak accident. So somebody's faking a death, whether it's their own or somebody else's. They feel like they don't owe somebody something, but somebody's a consenting adult to some type of unexplained. Somebody's acting like they can handle themselves, but they're putting themselves in even more trouble. But guess what? Virgo, that has nothing to do with you because you are spiritually protected from dark energies and magic. You can't be touched. Okay? Somebody wanted you to be in a vehicle that would turn out to have an unexplained freak accident. Okay? But you are protected by your guides. Somebody is jealous of the way that you parent your children. They can't stop thinking about you. Okay. Tell me more. We have masculine energy. So there's a masculine energy that's planning a pregnancy. Okay. When they are able to bail from the person that they have to quickly reply to. Karma is here and it's unfolding. Okay. Somebody was tricked into a marriage or some type of commitment here. There's a masculine energy that's planning a pregnancy. This is somebody that um, has a stronger dominating energy. It's personal info invasion. Somebody here is trying to figure out some type of information on you by placing a voodoo or, or spell on a voodoo doll that looks like you. Yeah, somebody here wants to gain information from pulling energy off of this voodoo doll to make sure that Whoever this person is that wants to have their way that you will be sexual abstinent to this person that wants to come towards you. Somebody wants you to be abstinent sexually, wants you to have no action in sexual engagement or be single and um, non-sexual in, in whatever type of situation. <laughs> we have relocating, we have side piece. So there's a side piece. That refuses to relocate. This is where you get your, your drugs from. Somebody here could be a drug dealer or an addict. Okay. Or somebody's um whatever this is. Somebody's trick. Somebody may be admitted to the emergency room because of a friend that got too close to your friends. This karmic shows up wanting to converse with you because there's a breakdown in a family dynamic or domestic disputes. So what does that have to do with you? And it looks like this is the karmic that's befriending your friends to get close to you. Secret and secret lover or admirer, you have girlfriend, didn't I say? Somebody here wants to fight you over a person that no longer wants them. Okay, or wants to get close to you to gather information. If you're already taken, somebody here is already taken. Or somebody's being claimed by someone else or whatever this is. and it's a war zone. We have mortgage fraud, criminals, target banks, credit unions, others to override the system to get a home. So somebody's doing some type of mortgage fraud in your name or, or you're doing this. Somebody here is misguided. Somebody is using information that was leaked that they got from the government 
whatever touch your sensitive information this was to get a home in your name or this is you doing this. Wow. Somebody could even like sabotage the home that they're getting in your name for you to have to pay for the damages. Yeah, so that there will be some type of finite, a final judgment or whatever this is. Wow. Okay, look, maxed out credit cards. Sneaking out or around. Somebody sneaking out or around to max out credit cards. We have directory assistance. So somebody here may be lost or... Um, may need some directions in order to get a problem solved. We have extremely petty. So there could be a directory, a sister that may be extremely petty. Okay, somebody will be meeting a person's parents and it looks like the alibi checks out. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there is an earth sign that may need to read between the lines here. We have an OnlyFans, Instagram, backup account, or social media. Okay, so it looks like something's going on on a backup account that you don't know about, which is why somebody's putting something on hold. There could be someone from the West Indies or is West Indian. So this could be um, Dominican, Antiguan, um, Barbadian, Grenadian, St. Kitts, or Bahamas that could have a teenager wrapped around their little finger. Okay, somebody's going to use a young book to cause problems, okay? Somebody here has a karmic mother, or there's a karmic mother that's falling on hard times, whereas you're going to get some type of unexpected extreme cash flow. There's a new stream of income that's coming in, which is why somebody is trying to get something called off. So somebody's gonna try to somebody's gonna try to sick some something or someone on you so that they can uh, gain unexpected unexpected extreme cash flow or income. Okay, look strategy. Somebody's up to something. All right. Anyway, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one.